You, you, you prefer to shoot in Podil than in the Hollywood Hills? I mean, what's wrong with you? I'm Mark Wilkins. I'm a filmmaker, I'm directing, and now I moved to Kiev. And I felt, wow, I feel more inspired and excited by being part of this society in the making than to be part in a ready-made society, which is Switzerland or Germany, where I grew up, or New York, where I was living. I don't feel so included. I have a lot of invitations to masterclasses, speeches, interviews, but on a personal level, I think I have many friends, but I'm missing this feeling to be part of the tribe. But I think it's a general problem. I think also Ukrainians feel like that. People are still not so open to each other. And I think this is a result of the Soviet times. There's this, still this mistrust. You don't open your door to too many people. The Ukrainians have a different vision. They think they are, but they are really not. And, and I often feel like, ah, oh, I'm, 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 I'm doing a lot of like events at my home and I'm inviting people and I'm joining and creating m gatherings. And, and I wonder why is nobody inviting me? I'm coming from a culture of a very, very strong civil society, Switzerland. I like every single person in Switzerland is a civil society activist and feels responsible for the street, the country, the yard. In Ukraine, I'm so surprised. You come into a hall stairway, it's so dirty. The lamps are broken. There's like ashtray full of cigarette butts. It smells of trash. And then you, you open a door and there's this beautifully expensive designed apartment behind it. You have to take off your shoes and wear some tapuchkis. Then, if, if you like beauty in your apartment, why don't you care about the stairway? It, it's part of your house because the government should take care of it. Because this is what you learned, you know, the government was taking care, the Soviet government was taking care of your hallway, of your stairs, of your sidewalk, of your roof. Um, not the people, but the government. I don't think it's like a cultural uh, identity. I think it is like a, still a, a, a disease of Soviet times that people don't really feel responsible for anything outside their apartment door. At Reitersko Street, it starts to happen. People start to feel responsible for their street. And there's one square in the middle. It's not a park, you know, to be honest. It's just like a piece of public land with a couple of trees. Nobody takes care of it. The government doesn't take care and people don't take care. The idea is to turn the square into the Georgi Narbut Square. I, with many other people in the street, were fighting that this square, this piece of land, which belongs to the people of Ukraine, cannot be privatized. But a few people in the street are fighting against it. Of course, this is in contrast to this amazing activism and idealism which attracted me, which is of course luckily much bigger. But if you ask me about safety, I'm afraid of this mental instability of the Ukrainian society, that a few people have a very destructive behavior towards the people who create something beautiful. And this is something which scares me.